Hi friends, it's the middle of March and what an exciting time of year it is. We're getting ready to witness nature transition from winter to spring and the early signs of spring are showing up daily. I'm standing here outside the butterfly garden at the Nature Center and I'm starting to look for one of my favorite first signs of spring, the morning cloak butterfly. Morning cloaks are a beautiful butterfly and they're really big. Their wingspan is three to four inches. Now when their wings are closed, they're a very dull brown gray and it provides them expert camouflage when they're seeking shelter in the trees where they've been all winter. But be ready for a treat because when they open their wings, they will reveal a rich brown maroon velvety wing that's edged with royal blue dots and a yellow fringe. They're absolutely beautiful. So how is it that we can look for morning cloak butterflies in March when there's still snow on the ground? Well, to understand that, we have to know their life cycle and how it compares to other butterflies here in Minnesota. Most butterflies here will spend the long winter months tucked in in one of the immature stages of their life cycle. So that might be the egg, the caterpillar, the chrysalis, or in the case of our state butterfly, the monarch, they just fly away for the winter. But the morning cloak is different. The morning cloak will spend winter as the adult. And that adult will tuck themselves into a tree crevice, behind bark, into a log pile, any small place where it can get shelter from winter's harsh conditions. And then the adult waits for these early spring days where the temperatures reach the upper 30s into the 40s and 50s to emerge, sun itself, and tell us spring is here. So what is a morning cloak gonna eat when it comes out when there's still snow on the ground and there's no flowers? Morning cloak's favorite food is tree sap. And all of the trees as they're getting ready for spring and summer are starting to flow their sap up and down and morning cloaks will eat it. Their favorite is sap from an oak tree. You can actually follow yellow belly sap suckers, which is a woodpecker. As they drill through trees, morning cloaks will come right behind them and sip up that sweet, sweet liquidy sap. They'll also eat rotting fruit, even scat, and occasionally flowers. I wonder where a morning cloak gets its name. I wonder what special adaptations morning cloaks have to survive the winter as an adult. I wonder what other butterflies here in Minnesota will winter as an adult and come out early in the spring. I wonder what you wonder.